This script is going to make our pet get hungrier and hungrier. Now to do that we're going to use a variable. So to use a variable we need to make one. And to find those you are in the data option here and click make a variable. And I'm going to call this one pet underscore hunger. Click OK. You want for all sprites and don't tick cloud. Click OK. And there's your variable that you can then use in your program. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a when green flag clicked. And our hunger is going to start at zero and go up one every second until it gets to 100. So to set our limit on 100, we need to have in control a repeat until... In fact, the first thing we need to do before we do that is we need to set our variable, set pet hunger to zero, then repeat until, and I need an operator here because I want pet hunger equals 100. So pet hunger equals, where's my equal operator? There we go. So I'll put pet hunger in that first little space, and in the second little space I'll type 100. Repeat until pet hunger equals 100. And I want to change pet hunger by one, and then in control, wait one second. So this bit here is called a loop. It will keep happening until pet hunger reaches 100. Pet hunger starts at zero, goes up by one every second, then goes up by one again, and waits a second, then goes up by one again, until it gets to 100. When it gets to 100, it breaks out of that loop, and carries on with the rest of the program. So when pet hunger gets to 100, our pet is too hungry, we've let it starve, so we want it to die. So we're going to use our pet death block that we've defined over here, and what that will do is it will look at all those commands over here and run those. The advantage of doing that is you just have to put one block into your program. And then finally, in control, we will stop all. There we go. So there's our loop created for pet hunger.